Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another exciting update. I, I'm excited to share with you this awesome update from uh, Reallusion. And what you see on the screen right now over here is a, a 1024 scan, like a 3D scan of a human being. And to the left is the result of using Headshot 2.0. Oh my goodness. So I've had this model for a while and I've been figuring out and trying to figure out how best to use it. And I wanted to use a headshot, the first, uh, the version of headshot one in Character Creator 4. But when headshot two came out, I was like, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. So this is a 3D model on the left hand side in character. In uh, Right now it's an icon. Let me press pause. And then we're going to rotate around so you can see the results of this amazing, amazing work. So all the data that you see in here looks amazing. The textures look awesome. And all these come from the textures that come from 1024. So in the 20, 1024 scans, there's a male model 49. And I've been, I was able to import the FPX file in here. And I was able to use these textures. And these are like, 16,000, no, 16,000. This is 16,000. So that's 4%. So you're looking at insanely detailed model. Ooh. But the all the detail that you see in this texture, including the normal map itself, Headshot 2 was able to replicate all that and capture it so that you could actually see it in this view right here. So this character is a full body even though i set off with just the head i was able to give him clothing from the mark uh, religion marketplace and he's fully ready he was fully rigged both for the face and the body and he's ready for action like amazing this is you're able to take a 3d scan from here right there's just a head and you're able to convert it into a character that is ready for animation in iClone. And I'll show you the character of where it started out in Character Creator 4. And this is Headshot 2 over here. It has some really cool new features. So before we were we had only the image version of it, right? But now we have the mesh version. So let me go to the website real quick so you can see some of the details. So this is Headshot 2.0 and it's, it supports both realistic characters and stylized characters, guys. And you can do <laughs> stylized characters just like that one. And so the way they describe it is Headshot 2, the, it's an AI enhanced plugin for character creator too. So Reallusion has finally figured out how to like harness AI in uh, Headshot 2 to bring us this ability to take meshes and convert them into really, really beautiful 3D models that are fully rigged, right? And so part of this, they say it leads us to create advanced 3D real-time digital humans from photos and 3D models. It offers precise model fitting, texture baking, and fully full body animation capabilities surpassing its predecessor and competitors. So it really is better than Headshot 1. Guys, I think it's going to be worth the investment to upgrade from Headshot 1 to Headshot 2 because of what I've been able to create here compared to what I was able to create before. So this is amazing that you're able to get a character that can actually stand in as a digital double for a short film, for previews, you know, for commercial, for you name it. For me, this particular character, when I saw this, I was like, hmm, a story started you know, brewing in my head. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I want like an investigator, like a detective kind of, of a character. And so I just went hunting into the uh, religion marketplace for a trench coat and uh, some kind of sweater and shirt. And then, of course, for the hair, because I wanted him to have the same hair as this uh, the person on the right hand side. It looks amazing. And I was also able to use Skin Gen 2.0 to add some more detail and life to this character and enhance the eyes, the jaw, the mouth and the teeth and everything. So this is what is really, really amazing, guys. That's why I wanted to share it with you. And when I checked it out, I think the time when I checked out, it was uh, $199. But for if you logged in, if you log in as yourself, you already have version 2.0. Let me actually see what happens. Let's do, do that. 
So when you log in as yourself for your account, that if you already own version two point, uh, if you already own version one, you can see there's a price drop of almost a fifty percent price drop. Now this is the sale right now, so I'm not sure what will be in the future. <laughs> so for the recording of this video, this was the sale. So for ninety nine dollars. Not even nine ninety nine, ninety nine dollars. <laughs> Sometimes they play with you. It's nine nine nine. It's really a, a hundred dollars. This is nine nine dollars, and you're able to get version two point zero, and it looks amazing, right? So those are things that you're able to do. So you can able to take like scans that are just half of the bo of the head to full body and to the full head. So the one that I'm using right now is a full head scan from ten twenty four, and you can see it right there. You know, isn't that amazing? <laughs> so for nine dollars, think about it. You're able to get your scan. So you could essentially have a character from ZBrush, from a Blender, you know, from Cinema, wherever you've made it. You can bring it in with all the detail, right? And be able to bring it into Character Creator 4 and convert it into a 3D model that is ready for animation. Like, look on the left-hand side. That is the model that I was able to import, the a FPX file of this, uh, uh, the human uh, bust of the 3D scan. And on the right-hand side, you can see the conversion of it. Okay, so in the next video, uh, in, next, in this video, I'm gonna show you just like a, a quick time-lapse of how I did everything, because it's, it's like a whole step. And you have to go through, go step by step to see the whole uh, process of it all. And in this particular video, I would really just wanted to highlight the result of what you'll be able to create and the potential of uh, Headshot 2 and the amount of detail that you're able to get, right? And it has an automatic mode. Let me save that for the next video. For this one video, I just wanted to focus on what you're able to do with this particular character. And once you're in a Character Creator 4, when you're done with your model, so let's uh, go into the scene over here, let me turn it off. You're able to take this model, save it as an avatar. So I just really just click on that, go to Content, I go to Custom over here, go to your actor, and then create a folder in here and then just add the character in there. And then after that, you'll be able to use it and add clothing and all that. And that's what's amazing, right? So I'm gonna do something real quick so you can see what's amazing also is that uh, when I select the character and I go to facial rig and I say full face, wait for it. It's updating. And that's the neat thing about uh, Character Creator 4 is that you're able to test why you're still here. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that started off as a bust, you know, as a character like this mesh right here. That's how it started off into a fully animated character that is ready for facial animation, for like all the blend shapes that you would want to use for your iPhone. So you can use live link face on this character. And then you're able to add hair, customize it even more with you know, the, uh, editor, texture editor, and uh, shader editor. I mean, you are able to do so much more. So uh, that was uh, the update that I wanted to share with you. And uh, I highly, highly recommend that you check it out. And it's uh, on sale right now. And if you are a user, if you already own a, a version of uh, Headshot, you'll be able to use it as well. But uh, check out the website as well and see some of the core cool features that they've added. And I'll show you uh, the details and the specs of it all, but it's amazing. And I can vouch for it because uh, I was like, let me first try it guys before I show it to you so that you can actually see the real result and the quality that you'll be able to get. This is really, really amazing. And this didn't take long. The only thing that actually took more time for me was trying to like fit the ears of the, the 3D head, uh, the scanned head. But overall, I am very happy with the result. 
uh, to see that I'm able to capture the, um, bring to life this uh, three D scanned head of this character and use him. So you can imagine if you have a voice actor that you want to bring to life and use in your game or your character, then they, who knows? Maybe voice actors can maybe get some, make some money where their own personalities are used like this. And if you are a voice actor, you could even use your own three D character to bring it to life, so that then you can use your voice to showcase like a you know, behind the scene of what you are as an actor, what type of characters you, you're you willing to play. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Uh, I I mean, this is exciting. <laughs> and I, as always, whenever I find something really, really exciting that uh, changes the way we do animation, I am excited to share it with you. So as always, guys, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. And let's always, you know, look up and see what's on the horizon and also take advantage of these technologies to tell our stories. I can't wait to share with you a short film that I'm working on using this character. And uh, considering that uh, it set off as this right here, when I saw this, I was inspired. I was like, now I have a character that I can use to tell this story. So thank you so much, guys. If you're new to my channel, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much and see you next time. So don't forget to check out uh, Headshot 2 on the Religion website and uh, check out the details. Okay. See you next time and bye for now.